we will have 10 dogs here in the studio, wh whittled down, in fact, from 63. And uh, they will be coming into the ring to be judged by Carla Molinari, a judge from Portugal. She'll be coming into the ring in just a moment. The Junior Warrant is actually an award for pedigree dogs from the ages of 6 to 18 months. Uh, which have won a series of first prizes at both Open and Championship shows. Achieving a junior warrant is one of the highest levels of success for young pedigree dogs. It is an annual competition. As I said, 12 heats uh, held throughout the uh, UK in August and September. And uh, the semi-finals were held at discover dogs at Earl's Court. Here comes the judge. This is Carla Molinari. She's come over from Portugal to judge this. She says it's a great honor to be here. And the Young Kennel Club is such a splendid... Uh, it's not the Young Kennel Club, I do apologize. This is the Junior Warrant. It's a, it's a splendid uh, event to judge. They've been judged down to these final ten, and they're coming into the ring now. Champion Willemaine de Manuel Gallopin, an import from France. Well, this Afghan is called Guillaume de Manuel Gallopin, owned by Mrs. D. Milligan Bott, Mr. J. Bott, and Miss J. Noble. And the pointer. The pointer is Hugh in Law and Order, owned by Theresa Watkin and Jill Davis. And then we have the Basset Hound, Death Guns and Roses, owned by Carol Alcorn. And the little Dachshund coming there, miniature smooth hair, channel with Sue Line Levi, owned by Sue Ergus. And then we have the uh, Welsh Springer Spaniel, Cherry Heath's Mr. Mischief, owned by Sharon Barkley. And there the uh, Black Cocker Spaniel, Weird in Wake Up at Helenwood, owned by J.H. Maris Bray. Soft coated Wheaton, not many of these around at the moment. Calvin Ass, Fat Bottom Girl for Flaxella, would you believe a name like that? With John and Paula Clark own that. And finally, the Samoyed here is coming in. Um, Nicara Iced Diamond, owned by Paul James and Barbara Johnson. And I think during the course as they came in there, I misidentified the Whippet, which is Shelf Eat Sugar Frosting, owned by Jane Wilson Clark. And so uh, Mrs. Molinari will now go over to look at each of these. And as I said, the Junior Warrant, it's, it's the highest award for young pedigree dogs. Eight, uh, six months old to 18 months old, the dogs. And it allows them to have JW after their name in all the cattle hogs when they appear and compete. And what a lovely set of animals they are. I think I also missed the English Spring when they came in there. Carly Queen Can't Wait. That was owned by Helen Cockle. That's two dogs back there. There's the soft coated Wheaton and there's the Samoyed at the end of the line. What a nice uh, collection to be able to judge. You know that they're going to be absolutely lovely. The Afghan always the showpiece dog, really. I mean, what, what uh, just highly presented animals. They are quite magnificent. And this is, uh, I said, Guillaume de Manuel Gallopin. I don't know what it's known as at home. Three owners, Mrs. Milligan Bott, Mr. J. Bott, and Mrs. Ms. I should say, J. Noble. These 10 dogs were selected uh, at Discover Dogs from the 63 that were taking part there. And the uh, semi-finals at Discover Dogs were judged by Valerie Foss and Gavin Robertson. Gavin, of course, one of the owners of last year's Best in Show winner, and Jilly, the Pretty Bassett Griffin Vondion. So here's the pointer. Who are in Law and Order? Owned by Teresa Watkins and Jill Davis. And it's marvellous to be able to appear with your dog 
a young dog in this huge arena to win, they hope, the junior warrant of the year. This is a real final. And a lovely pointer there, beautiful animal, beautiful gun dog. Certainly always fit for purpose. These dogs which work wonderfully in the field, pointing up game. And uh, Carla Molinari now looking at the Whippet, Shalfleet Sugar Frosting. Delightful little dogs, Whippets. Everyone I know that owns one says they would never think of owning any other breed. They just love them. They're very handsome. Beautiful on the move, lovely line. It's a lovely bitch, this one. They always look so keen. And what a difference between the confirmation of that Whippet and, and the Bassett, Bassett sitting behind there. Death, Guns and Roses, this one. Ah, we're looking again at the Whippet. I'm told she likes the sound of her own voice. So I leave that to your imagination. Well, there you are, the Bassett Hound, with these beautiful extra bits of skin, I suppose you call them, but not as pronounced as they used to be, which I think is lovely. I've had several friends with, uh, who own these, the and Bassett again, hound. they think, uh, I mean, Bassets are lovely. Long dogs, short legs, but good hounds. And look at that nice movement, holding the tail up high exactly as they're supposed to do. Great day for Carol Alcorn there. And next we have and just, the that gives a real Dancing indication of the motion, March, the movement of these dogs with, as I say, that extra little bit of skin and flesh that moves around there. Like a lovely sight. Teddy bears. Well, now we've got the tiny one. Another long dog there with short legs. This is a miniature smooth-haired Dachshund. Mind, Champion Sue Line Levi, owned by Sue, Sue Ergus. There are six different Dachshunds, and this is one of those six. There are three miniatures and three standard size. The miniature smooth hair Dachshund. These are very game dogs, Dachshunds, all of them. They're virtually the same Qualified template for each dog. They're the same dog, just in different sizes and with different coats. You get smooth hair, you get wire hair, and you get long hair in each of the sizes, whether they're miniature or standard. This is the miniature. I love their movement. I just love the whole thing about Dachshunds. I keep four Spaniel. myself, and they're just gorgeous December creatures. 2011, qualified at Plymouth. So we've got the English Springer now. And this is Carly Quinn Can't Wait, owned by Helen Kokel. I'm told that when he's, he thinks it's time to go for a walk, he goes to fetch his lead and takes it to his mistress. You're probably hearing the ring announcer saying that uh, this is a dog that loves its walks. Takes its lead to its mistress when uh, she wants to go out. The English Springer Spaniel. Spring is, of course, wonderful game dogs, and as their name suggests, they spring game. They uh, they go out in the field and they point at game and then spring it. They they move it. They move amongst the game and make it move so that uh, the guns can see it. And uh, we'll see in a moment the Welsh the Springer Welsh and uh, this those lovely ears. Look at those, aren't they beautiful? Fabulous colour, liver and white here. Qualified at Hawley. And now we've got the brown and white Welsh Springer Spaniel. This is Cherry Heath's Mr. Mischief, owned by Sharon Barclay. 
And you see, presented differently, it's a, definitely a different breed from the English Springer that we've just seen. Young dogs, all of these. They can't be more than 18 months old. It's a, a sort of, I, I would say, a slightly stronger movement from, uh, from the Welsh Springer than the English. Um, lovely, lively dog. You've got a task here, Carla. The, uh, the ears not Teddy quite as distinctive as you saw with the English Springer, are they? Very different head. Lovely to look at. He's got a favourite trick too. Like and on the table, another of the Spaniels. And this is the uh, Cocker, with him wake up at Helen Wood, owned by J.H. Uh, Maris Bray. Cockers, very busy little dogs, and working Cockers out in the field. They scurry around, they quarter the ground, they move from side to side. They're always busy. And they, again, their job is to cause game to spring from where it is. So they'll go into the, the undergrowth. Sign. And we do have gun dog demonstrations here at Crufts. And uh, the cockers are always, they, they, they cause great amusement. The working cockers uh, look slightly different to the show cocker when they're in their full coat like this, but lovely, lovely animals. Look at that head. These dogs are so happy. They love showing. They love being in the big ring. And of course, we've got a massive crowd here in this arena, and they show at their best here. It's very rare that the dogs get spooked by the crowds. Occasionally, very, very rarely, they're having fun. And so this is a soft-coated Wheaton, I think, as I said, as they came in. There aren't a great many of those around um, at the moment. Not many registered each year. Calvin Ace, fat bottom girl for Flax Seller, owned by John and Pamela Clark. I remember some years ago, Jessica Home and I, um, we voiced a soft-coated Wheaton Terrier going around the show and enjoying itself. And uh, <laughs> we're very fond of them, actually. Lovely, lovely movement, nice dogs. But I suppose a dog without a, a real function now, and that's possibly why they've gone out of favour. The soft-coated Wheaton Terry. It's a happy face, and isn't it? Last this is the I'm, sorry, I'm very partial to these very woolly faces that they have. And then a very different breed here, a Samoyed. Nikara Iced Diamond, lovely name for such a white dog, owned by Paul James and Barbara Johnson. Sammy, a beautiful Spitz breed. Fantastic coat, those beautiful black eyes picked out in this white coat. Always have a smile on the face. And a very different movement you're seeing there to what we've seen from most of the others um, that we've seen in this ring. And that's the 10th of the Junior Warrant finalists for this year. So Carla Molinari will now take a final look at the dogs. I think she'll have a pretty good idea of what she's going to pick here. But she needs to make sure she's going to get it right. It's a big job judging in this ring. And the fact that they've been prejudged by ex excellent judges um, to bring these 10 to this ring. And it's now her job from those best junior warrant semi-finalists to pick the winner here today. Uh, as is the custom here at Cross, they don't pick uh, dogs in reverse order, they pick them in the winning order. So the first dog that's indicated by Carla Molinari will be her choice of winner. Now, 
Is she getting to move again or has she selected? No. Is she bringing out a short list, is she? I'm not sure. I can't announce this at this point, but at the moment she's brought out the Afghan and the Whippet. And the soft coated Wheaton. And the Sammy. Now there's four. Now from these four, then she will pick her winner. She hasn't decided yet. I didn't know whether she'd be taking a short list or whether she would call out the winner. But there we have four. Is she going to make them come round the ring again? Yes, she is. She's going to move them. So this is a round of applause. I don't think they're in her final order, but I could be wrong. These are her top four, but I don't know which is her winner. So the Afghan, the soft-coated Wheaton, the Sami, and the Whippet. She's put them in that order, which is not the order she drew them out. And has she selected a winner? She's now going to move them again. Up and down, is she? Yes. No, she's called for the boards, but she is going to move them. I hope the boards don't spook the dogs as they come forward. The uh, two in the middle. And there's the Afghan which is Guillaume de Manuel Gallopin. And now it's the turn of the I apologize if that's not how it's pronounced, but that's what it looks like when I read it. This is the soft-coated Wheaton Terrier, Cavanagh's fat-bottomed girl for Flaxella. Nikara Iced Diamond, the Samoyed. Not spooked by those boards at all. Run between them. And last, but by no means least, the Whippet. I think she actually rearranged them in, uh, in alphabetical order, that's all. <laughs> so now she's going to pick two. And the first one will be the winner. The second will be the reserve. Junior Warrant of the Year. This is the moment. Which one will it be? And the winner is the Whippet. It's the Whippet. Shalfleet Sugar Frosting, owned by Jane Wilson Clark, and the Samoyed is second. Nikara Ice Diamond, owned by Paul James and Barbara Johnson. Nikara Ice Diamond, owned by Mr. Paul and Mrs. Barbara Johnson. Well done to the others, and coming in the ring to present the trophy is Stephen Tucker, Managing Director of GWF Nutrition, Omega 3, escorted by Anne MacDonald, Vice Chairman of the Crofts Committee. So Mr Tucker there goes out to present the trophy to the winner. What a moment. Crofts Junior Warrant of the Year. Whippets do remain very, very popular, and that's a lovely little example. It now is it all it was before so a junior warrant holder, but it's won this here at Crufts. The final at Crufts. Lap of Champions honor now. The Whippet, followed by the Samir. Proud moments for both owners and splendid job by Carla Molinari from Portugal. She's had her moment in the ring and now these two wonderful dogs have had theirs.